Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is another CSGO map analysis video. It is Mutiny by Tanuki Suit 3, Jim Wood, and Hooveligan. I don't know how to say that guy's name, so I'll walk the plank. Ugh. <laughs> Epic. Wait, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's in CT. <laughs> I got confused. I thought he was a real man because of his name. So, this is indeed mutiny. Yep, it's uh, it's a map. Uh, it has water that kills you. Fuck. So, that's that. I don't understand water that kills you. I just feel like if you're going to have an area like this in your map, you probably want to do something to the effect of having a ladder. There's a little map that you guys may have heard of called Sub-Zero. It didn't have water that killed you. It just had water that uh, absorbed your fall damage. That's all water should do. Water shouldn't kill you. What's wrong with you? Now, I get the idea that maybe uh, you don't want to have people just hiding here. So, uh, you know, board it up or something, man. I don't know. I just think at any point when you're having an area like this, particularly, I don't know what the fuck happened here visually, but an area like this, you really shouldn't be punished for just, like, walking down and missing your turn. Seems a little silly, in my opinion. <clears throat> You know, that's why they added those guardrails on Vertigo, because even Valve figured that out. If Valve can figure it out, you can too. And you don't need to make as many as mistakes as they have to. Also, it says gunpowder on those, I think. But they don't blow up when I shoot them. Uh, so I would like my Michael Bay license back. Anyway. Uh, obviously, this map is had a lot of time and effort put into the visuals. Uh, or so we would like to say. Uh, but it is indeed a very busy map, and like any map in Source, it has a lot of lighting issues. A lot of problems associated with it. But I think in general, it has a theme at least. Sort of similar to Chlorine. Not the theme, but the fact that it has a theme. Oh, I guess they just uh, teleport away like in Half-Life 3 or something. But anyway, we uh, indeed have ourselves a little cannonball on the way to A. We're gonna come up on this upper side, I suppose. We'll wrap around, but that is the main entrance. Nothing too crazy about it. You just walk in and you, you take a right and you're looking at the bomb site over there. But if we go back over here for a second, we see another cannon. And this is our little tour. Little tour de force. This looks like a screaming man or just a screaming face. Got some flowers. Bomb site starts uh, with these little rocks here. And it ends with these little rocks here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you can plant literally anywhere on the site, so... I guess that's something. For some reason, there's no... The clipping on here is such that you can't just walk up it. I think... Uh, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but... It'd probably be better if you could just walk up it. It would feel a little bit less awkward. Also, this is a huge amount of glare on this. So the lighting, I think, at a few places needs to be adjusted beyond just fixing bugs. But there's a lot of glare, actually. I don't want to have to be running Flux in full screen CSGO, you know what I mean? So, just uh, something to keep in mind, I think. Now, one of the things that I generally think about this site is the movement needs some work, and just in terms of where, what's possible to move around in. It's not just the clipping in that one area that I I'm uh, a complainer of. It's like, you just you kind of slip and slide all over the place. Very similar to Graveyard, actually. And I'm sure that out of all the maps that I could compare this one to, people and the map maker were not expecting me to compare it to Graveyard. Also, this appears to be two or three different rocks stuck inside each other, uh, which is just hilarious. So fix that, please. Uh, I don't know if there's still a stuck spot over here. I reported it. I think I reported a while ago. But you could just like fall forever over here. I think that's been fixed. I don't really remember where it was. But there's something over here. And this area is actually kind of important because as it, you see me continue to flail around trying to jump up here, 
Uh, you actually have to be on here or the barrel in order to get over to this area, which has a pretty pivotal rotation out of the A bomb site. Otherwise, you have to go all the way around towards CT spawn to rotate over there. But even to get to CT spawn faster, you would want to take this. It's just another situation where the the clipping of these rocks kind of makes it difficult and in a way that feels rather needless. Like, maybe adjust the uh, the height of the rocks or the look of them so that it doesn't look like I could theoretically self-boost or make it so that I can actually self-boost if that's what you want out of the gameplay and that's just a bug that you can't. I assume it's not a bug because it's been like that for a while and this map has received pretty regular updates, but it is one of those big complaints that I have. It's just another one of those situations where the developer has a visual read uh, associated with how high a prop or piece of terrain feels like it is and what you can or cannot do with it. And uh, once again, I am incapable of actually doing what it seems like I could potentially be able to do. Why do they shove rocks inside themselves? Who put this rock here? I guess this is just to stop people from going inside and sneaking and using it as like a post plant spot, but just put a gate here or something. Why do you have to have a rock? That seems a little psychotic. Yeah, it seems like part of this area was gray boxed or black boxed or whatever. And I don't even think black box is a real term, but it, it was it's like a, the next step above gray box where like they start placing the initial props and stuff. Holy moly, what a massacre. A massacre of my eyes. So they had stuff like that, but then they just left it here. They forgot to delete a few props, a few uh, objects. Like over here, it seems a little bit more. Oh, never mind. No, that's fucked. Don't look at it. So anyway, yeah, stay away from looking at any rocks in this map. It's going to be a little difficult for you. I think this is one of those magical doors that goes nowhere. But maybe it's supposed to lead to some underground passage or something. Who knows? It's all a mystery, man. The lore of this area is that the terrorists stole a pirate ship and a weird kind of thing that I don't really mind. It's just a, an aspect of the map is whenever you plant the bomb, I think you start to hear breathing in your ears, which is actually kind of distracting, but uh, you definitely hear somebody groan in pain, which I believe is just a pitch shifted uh, hostage sound or something. So it's kind of funny and uh, definitely could have been a unique sound instead of that. Man, what happened to these UVs? What is going on over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that, so you just hear this guy go, oh, and I swear it's not me or my stomach. It's just some dude. So that's kind of whatever. It's just an aspect of the map. Maybe I'll show that off later. Probably not. But, uh, yeah. So this is obviously the side of A that's closer towards CT. I haven't really been talking too much about what you're actually seeing here. Well, I've been talking a lot about what you're seeing. Not a whole lot about what the gameplay is. But uh, I have a feeling this spot right here will be a neat little peek towards the A wrap, the upper A position. I guess you'd call that arch. And so if you're rotating towards A as a T, then you can probably get a good op duel going, but obviously the CTs will get there faster uh, to that particular spot. And they can also position up here and uh, peek you from over here. So you'd be over here or you'd be down here for an aggressive peek. And obviously the, the trick here is if you do end up being on that barrel, you can get yourself back over just by sticking yourself in that corner and then doing a little crouch jump. You probably don't even need the crouch, but I do it every time anyway, because who the fuck knows what you actually need to get up here. And so, yeah, there's that. And you can also rotate down over here. This is the pivotal rotation I was talking about that will take you into mid through cannon. I guess you can call this or just connector. But uh, yeah, this A connector... Uh, we'll take you out into mid, which I'll show off from the T angle and the CT angle a little bit later. But uh, I guess an interesting couple of aspects of this area. Obviously, you can throw nades over there. And I think the skybox over here is open, unlike uh, some of the other areas that I've seen. So you can probably find some lineup somewhere. Where'd it go? Here it is. Yeah, it's actually not a half bad one if you're trying to retake or something. You want to... You wanna... Well, I guess... It wouldn't eliminate too many angles within the site, but it would be one less that you have to worry about when crossing. You still have to clear that, though, so that's probably what you want to smoke off more. Anyway, the, the point is, you can find some smokes uh, for retaking. You can find some smokes for actually taking the site, and it seems like it's fairly open in general. So, it is what it is. Obviously, I didn't hit any right now, but 
I'm sure that uh, that doesn't change the fact that you can hit them. You can download this map and hit the smokes yourself. This is CT spawn. You can see some uh, 081. I don't know why there are rocks on the roof. They, uh, they forgot to clean their windshields, I guess. Uh, this area is kind of new. I guess this would be a, a sort of like CT mid area almost, even though it's like right next to CT spawn. Uh, you wouldn't really want to be holding this if you lost mid control. But if you were, uh, say you saw the bomb and that you saw that there was, the play was an exec onto B, you have a nice little spot here that the CT who's or the T who's lurking has to check. And I guess it could also be utilized as a forward position for, for T's once they plant at the B bomb site. They can actually use this position. Um, I guess CTs who are approaching here can kind of use this position to raise their elevation and uh, like look for exits or something if they're not interested in retaking the site itself. Uh, so it, I guess it adds something, but I feel like the cover is pointed the wrong way for it to be utilized in most scenar uh, scenarios. Of course, I wasn't around for their actual playtests, so uh, their, their PvP playtests, I don't know. Who knows what was actually going on there. It does expose what appears to be fuck. Uh, yeah, that's fuck. So, uh, yeah, don't don't expose me to your fuck, please. Anyway, this is uh, B-Bomb site. CTs will mostly approach here uh, when they're first rotating in. I guess it could end up being somewhat similar to the A-Bomb site on Cash, where you're going to have one guy cheating down uh, towards middle, where this would be the allegory for highway, and over here would be the allegory for A-Main. Uh, but obviously it's not a complete one-to-one -one because you're going to end up seeing people come into this little brick wall area. It's not just for a show, that's an actual spot, which I kind of like. So again, going all the way back to T, uh, if you take a right instead of a left, you'll end up going over to that area. And you have a first dibs on that upper area. I don't think it's possible to boost in there as CTs, which I would like to see as a wrinkle. If you remember all the way back to when I was doing my analysis video for Victoria, I did talk a little bit about how uh, I like the fact that CTs could, uh, wait, what? Yeah, CTs could uh, end up doing interesting things by boosting themselves up there. So I thought that was neat. It looks like you can boost in here anyway, if you really want to. It's just going to take some coordination, more so than uh, what's required for that Victoria boost, from what I remember. Although I think it also involved you standing on a box or something, so who knows. I don't know, I don't think, you can boost onto this. You can if you uh, stand up, make them stand up first. So that's cool, I guess. Could definitely come into play. Would like to see that. Hey, I can get eggs over here. Hey, I'm Joe Rogan. Open up. So. Rum. More like mum. Anyway, this uh, area obviously gives you first dibs onto that upper area. The fact that there are boosts in play, or possible boosts anyway means that you do have to watch out for some early aggression from CTs because I think the rotation is such that the CTs will still end up like over here or something before you end up over here. If they're both running at full speed, obviously you'll hear them. But if they get to around this area and then start shift walking over here, unless they fail the, the boost, you're not gonna actually hear anything until they're already in here, right? And then at that point, it may be too late. Especially if that other guy ends up masking that footstep with uh, some utility or just starts <coughs> walking after the footsteps are made. It may not be very obvious that you're actually landing over here. Because it's the same sort of sound. So I guess you could change the sound cue to be something different. But who knows if that will actually happen. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like any area over here has a different sound cue, but if you change this to some sort of like stone or metal one instead of whatever the default one is, which I assume this is the default one anyway. Uh, oh, I guess we're in wood now. But uh, yeah, so if they start walking down here, you'll hear wood footsteps, which will sound a little odd. And I guess the direction of it anyway will sound a little odd, but it's hard to know that when you're just starting off on the map and it's hard to know that in general in the middle of a situation where you're just hearing footsteps, you're not necessarily trying to figure out what they are. So if it's not like a very, very distinct one, like the metal footstep sound, uh, it's probably going to be a little difficult for you to place. That could obviously be changed if that was a concern from a ba uh, balancing standpoint, but I don't know how aggressive CTs are going to end up getting. Also, the uh, the culling distance is definitely a little difficult. Anytime it ends up, you know, you cull objects in the middle of gameplay, 
Especially big ones, like what I was just seeing over there when I was on top of these dudes' heads. Uh, I don't actually know what that is. Um, most notably, it doesn't even... Like, the tree on the top is obviously less noticeable. But it doesn't even appear to be something that... I think maybe something is actually getting removed when I go too far away or something. I don't know. I don't know what's happening over there, but it's fuck. So I'll probably try and fix that. Anytime that happens in the middle of gameplay, which happened just because I was boosting up over there, uh, definitely a problem. And there's probably been a lot of those things that have happened and I haven't even commented on them because I haven't noticed because I've been too busy flapping my gums. So hopefully the developers can uh, check that out. Although obviously they could have figured that out themselves without me saying it at all. So uh, it's just on them. I guess it, uh, it does eventually call the boat, but I'm not sure when. Anyway, um, at least I think it does. There was some change in the patch notes about rendering the boat, so that it doesn't render it in every single area, which makes sense, because there's some areas you just can't see it in, like connector. Lighting. So anyway, this is the T mid area, so it's fairly straightforward. It's kind of like a very straightforward three lane map at its core. Uh, it's just that there's two approaches to A, and then there's kind of two approaches to B with this upper area, which is kind of neat, I guess. And then obviously in middle, this either gives you A connector, uh, B highway, if you want to, again, call back to A highway on uh, cache, or the CT set of mid that goes into church. Now, the problem I have with church is mostly a visual one. Aesthetically, it just seems out of place. Uh, they have their their characters over here, right? Their uh, their men over here. This seems like something you should definitely be able to hide behind as far as cover goes, and you can't. And that's making me sad. Chest high walls, man. Same over here. So if if you really wanted to do something like this, uh, I don't know what I would say about that. But I mean, obviously, it took a lot of effort to get all this shit in here, like the stained glass and the the panels with your personas or whatever, and. Like, it, it takes effort to actually make this stuff and then it, uh, implement it in a technical sense. So there's both artistry and technical artistry at play here. Uh, digital artistry and technical artistry. Uh, so I'm not necessarily minimizing that e either. It's just one of those things where it's like, it feels very much um, thrown in and without necessarily much of a care for how it ends up looking in the grand scheme of things. And so, uh, speaking of fursonas, somebody's rat is out here. Don't know what's going on there. But yeah, it doesn't really jive with the rest of the map for my money. And uh, on top of it, it definitely has some gameplay readability issues with those walls, those uh, barriers that stop you from jumping over there. So those are my two cents. I'm not sure how I feel about it being... Uh, I mean, I guess you, you can just walk in, but it's a very tight rotation. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You, you can't really fit two people between there without being relatively pixel perfect if it's possible at all. So that would be one of those things that I would definitely suggest to uh, widen out in general. And maybe instead of it being a hole, there could be an actual door over here or something. I mean, I don't even know what the story is that there being a hole over here. But there's a hole here. So uh, fill it in and then knock it down again, IMO. Just trying to see if... Uh... Okay, that actually does have collision. Alright, easy enough. Uh, so yeah... There are some skybox issues. Uh, if you are a terrorist and you're trying to throw a smoke over here, seems like an innocent lineup, but uh, it bounces off with nothing. It's um, it appears to be a bug actually because it can go under and over. Oh no, it can't go over. Well, it can go over. It's just that at some point, right there, you just get kissed. So I don't know what's up with here. I guess that's just the skybox. So maybe it's not unintentional, but I feel like it could be raised and you would actually have a, a better situation on your hands. Because as of right now, that means you have to do something like this, I guess, if you want to try to do some smokes. Yeah, and that's not really going to help you in that particular case, but you could find some lineups that go from super far back. So it doesn't really eliminate the thing if that's the goal. If, if the goal is to make it so that T's don't get a chance to throw smokes into mid for whatever reason. That doesn't really stop you. In fact, that smoke will probably be fairly useful. You'll be able to like slide across here and then, I guess this is kind of like cart in a, a mid in a Mirage, except you can't boost onto it for some psychotic reason, even though it definitely feels like you should be able to. Oh, you can right here. Oh, only right here though. <laughs> and that seems almost like a bug. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to. But yeah, you could throw that smoke and then 
you know, use it to cross and uh, I guess boost up here and wait. But it's, it's, I think that's a bug that'll probably get patched out. I mean, I personally think it would be fine if you could just boost onto here, but it doesn't look like you can. Maybe you can actually boost on here. Oh yeah, if you have an actual boost, you can. But for some reason, they did not want you self-boosting. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, fix that clipping, IMO. Anyway, I imagine, a, a, I don't know about a popular boost, but you throw that smoke again and... Where are your feet? Hey, stop teabagging. Anyway. I imagine there will be a somewhat popular boost over here that you'll see people pull out. Could be neat. I don't mind that at all. Oh yeah, is this uh Oh yeah, there it is. I was gotta say, there's a Easter egg here with a giant skeletony. His name is Mike, and I don't know why he's in this map, but there you go. Anyway, I, I don't know, it's a very simple map as far as the layout goes, actually, which is probably one of the reasons why it's as uh, approachable as it is. It just feels like there's a lot of duh mistakes with regards to clipping and um, uh, the clipping of objects <laughs> and just mashed together, like the rocks in uh, A-Site that we were talking about. Uh, but there's also a fair number of issues that I think that are associated with uh, like the visual... Uh, I guess advertisement versus reality kind of situation where what you think is not what you get. And I have a feeling this will be a great spot for those pay to win motherfuckers to sit in too. So probably want to move that around. Uh, this map used to be a lot busier, if you can believe it. It's obviously still very busy right now. And I think there was some spot where you could you could plant your bomb and it would uh, it would somehow hide it. Because uh, I, I, the, the bot did that at some point when I was playing this map. It's a pretty good bit. Maybe it's right here. No, it's not. Then maybe they cleaned that up anyway. I did see, I was trying to figure out where that could have been, but uh, alas, I could not. Anyway, this is of course the B bomb side. I almost forgot to show this because I was too busy talking about the rotations. Uh, I think as far as the, the rotations are concerned, the, the CT stuff, I think it's fine. You'd probably end up having the team allocation of something like... Uh, here, I'll just end the round because the beeping is spinning me. You'd probably end up having some sort of situation with... Uh, if I had to guess... You could even play retake for B because it's such a small site and the skybox... Again, I think the skybox is open over here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking wrong. But is it open above that? Yeah, it is. So that's just... Not by much. So maybe that's what this is for. Maybe this is just for lineups. Wow. There is such a low... <laughs> Wowee. Maybe... Maybe... This was a mistake, man. Maybe... Maybe it's just time to call it quits. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Let's try that. Boing. Almost a good retake smoke if you smoke this off. As it is, I guess it could be useful. So yeah, maybe there are some uh, smokes that you could line up. Fuck. But uh, either way, outside of lineups in that area, I just think, uh, yeah, the low skyboxes make me sad, man. I don't know why those are like that. But beyond that, I still think you could probably play this for retakes. Uh, there's a lot of bomb plant areas, but it's almost like if somebody took all of the the areas you really don't want to be after you finish planting the bomb on the nuke B bomb site, the lower bomb site, and they made that into a bomb site. That's kind of what this is, because it's very small, but it's also super cramped. So you definitely want control over the whole bomb site. It's just that as soon as you finish planting the bomb, you basically want to evacuate. Now you can plant the bomb over here, and then uh, be in the upper area. So you, you can plant for upper, and then take a peek like this. That's just that you also have to, you know, you, you have to hope that you have some way to smoke that off. Oh, that's not really what I wanted to do. It'd be like that, I guess. But uh, you'd want to smoke off this side passage. And once you do that, yeah, there you go, that's better. Uh, then you could more safely take an angle like this 
and you, you just have to flick up if somebody's coming up uh, from the CT area over here. So you definitely want to be aware of that, but you can plant for that. And I'm sure you can find some sort of post-plant Molotov that does something like this. Uh, that wouldn't quite spread over there, but it's not far off the beaten path, I don't think. That's a little bit closer. And it looks like that actually does spread to the plant, so I can't believe those Molotov graphics are st they're fucking 2D planes in 2020, dude. Get out of here. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So that's sort of what post plants would probably look like on this site, is you, you try for that. This is like a gimmick one you can do. You could obviously plant and then try to, again, throw Molotovs from up here. Uh, you can even just use this area in general. Oops. Um, like, it's obviously super important to have access to this for post plants as the tease, uh, but you can probably find a smoke uh, for that area. Maybe you can't because of the insane skybox, but if you could, like, that might be something that you have to do, like, over here for. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Almost. Uh, wow. Yeah, margin of error is not not uh, not that great for that one. But you can figure something out. And if you can smoke that off, uh, then you can retake the site super easy, I think. Well, you still have to turn and hit headshots. But I don't mind playing this site for retakes, having like one dude here in, uh, in this area ready to rotate over. And then one guy in mid so that he doesn't have to worry about getting backstabbed. One guy in mid over here, probably with an op. The other guy could also have an op. You could have a double op set up and not even have the op on A. Although, as I discussed earlier, there is a, a couple of areas, are a couple of areas where having an op would be beneficial, like over on this barrel or further back over here behind this crate. Uh, but you would definitely want somebody mid either way. The rotation definitely favors T's for mid, I think. Uh, obviously, you can get into a position as the CT's, but uh, the T's can just smoke off uh, over here like I, was, I did earlier. They can cross over here and uh, flashbang, and I'm sure there's even a smoke that they can find that'll land a little bit deeper that might uh, obscure the vision of the CT completely, besides for this little cross over here, and then he can just get banged out or, you know, flashed or molotoved or whatever, but I definitely think that there's a fair bit of uh, interplay and creativity that you can have, strategic depth for the middle area of the map almost entirely because of the fact that you can still work around the shitty skybox situation, but you don't have that luxury on the B-bomb site. I don't know if you have it on the A-bomb site. I assume you do because there's even like a bunch of holes in the floors or uh, roofs and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, coronavirus. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a smoke for you. Allows you to just almost separate it in half with just one smoke. I don't even know where I was for that one. But anyway, yeah, you would you'd figure out something, and uh, you throw some smokes, you figure some stuff out. <laughs> Not quite as useful as the first one, um, but it looks like this area is actually open. So you could find some lineups over here and throw some smokes as a result, and it would potentially be perfectly fine. And obviously, that means for retaking. Presumably, Skybox is open. Would be a safe bet on any other map. Yeah, so the Skybox is way further up over here. It's like... Yeah, it's all the way up here, which is pretty far up. Not not high enough, mind you, to completely be open, but high enough to, I, I think, to matter in that situation. So you could definitely find some smokes from CT spawn that would help you out in uh, holding A. Uh, so your your rotation squad can actually have some utility before they even get to the site. They can dispense with some of that utility before they get headshot by a Krieg. So they can still have some impact on the round. Pretty cool. Uh, but only on this site. Not on the B-bomb site. Don't even try it. And so, yeah, I definitely think that that could be improved. That that, that bit of gameplay would, would be better in terms of having uh, opportunities, having options, strategic depth. Nice tree. Ah, shit. I suck. Well, that's probably possible if you're good. No, maybe not. I like how quickly I changed my mind on that one, but uh, yeah, you have to add a hop or something. 
Now, with this being here, it's almost certain you could boost up into this situation. Oh, it would be if there wasn't an invisible wall blocking me. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I can't actually jump up. That's unfortunate. That would be epic. Why are people so afraid of raising skyboxes and uh, and pathing and stuff like that? Anyway, I don't know. I mean, again, I don't actually know if it's the intention of the developers to have it be so low. But boosts and open skybox nades are part of what makes the game fun to watch and exciting, even at the highest level. Even to people like me who uh, suck at shooting but can still figure out path findings and, you know, rotations and all this other cool stuff. Oops. Let's try over here. A little bit to the right. So yeah, like I, I like doing stuff like this. Uh, if that was a little bit further up, it would probably bounce like over here or something. But I, I like doing stuff like finding smokes and stuff. It's just that when you don't even give me the opportunity to. Also, bonus points if you extinguish smokes as soon as they land on that. Triggered event, my guy. What else? I don't know. I guess my final thoughts are that the map seems really messy, um, despite the, the effort put into the visuals. Uh, the gameplay is definitely lacking in the T-spawn area with the water that will kill you. It's lacking in the A-bomb site with the uh, lack of visual clarity, as well as the, in the church, regarding what you can and can't use. Uh, I would say it's lacking in the B-bomb site with the lack of uh, skybox, and it's lacking in mid for the same reason, although obviously you can work around that a little bit if you throw the smoke from T-spawn. And all that being said, it's a very simple map. Oh yeah, don't look at this by the way, you'll die. It's a very simple map. I would recommend giving it a run, uh, maybe doing some 5v5s. Despite the fact that there's still a lot of rough edges to sand off here, it could be a very fun map. Um, I actually think gunplay is fairly satisfying, even though I was talking earlier about rotations and uh, and how B bombsite was probably best left retaken. Uh, I think the, the gunfights are satisfying, it's just, you have to also be able to actually see uh, your enemies. And uh, that's not always easy in this map. Like, uh, I think it was really hard for me to see people over here. Or maybe it was somewhere else. There's some area uh, of, like, a really dark area on the map where there's some wall texture that's really fucking difficult to see. I think it's over here. Really hard to see the T's against that. So, definitely could be tickled and tweaked and uh, yeah i mean I, I think that the theme definitely has potential it's just needs to be delivered upon without being uh, too messy too visually busy and too uh too lying to my eyes too uh confusing when it comes to visual clarity as to what you can and cannot be hopped on or jumped around and i also think it would definitely benefit from Allowing for more boosts and more grenades. And so raise those skyboxes, raise that clipping, and uh, raise the roof. Bye.